all around the world, people recognize water as a precious natural resource. NASA is no exception. To live and work in space, NASA's astronauts need water, and having enough clean water is a real problem. But for more than 30 years, the agency has been partnering with a small company in Oregon called Umpqua Research Company to solve the problem. That's our forte here, working on water system. Not necessarily just the purification, but the destruction of contaminants. One of Umpqua's core technologies is a unique iodinated resin system. Working with researchers at Johnson Space Center, the firm developed a microbial check valve, or MCV, that uses the iodinated resin for the space shuttle. The water is manufactured on the shuttle and it is very pure at the time, but it has the capability of being contaminated through the distribution system. The MCV flow-through cartridge prevents contamination of the ultra-pure water on board the shuttle. Since the inception of the program, the MCV has been on every single shuttle mission. Umqua also integrated its special resin into the bacterial filter cartridges on the extravehicular mobility unit backpacks worn by astronauts during spacewalks. The cartridges prevent any back contamination of the shuttle's drinking water when the backpacks are being filled on board. There are a, a lot of passageways that could become fouled with microbial uh, growth. They want to make sure that wouldn't happen. They fill all the backpacks through one of these devices and we fill all those devices and do preliminary testing here and they're shipped to the Cape. While working with Johnson, Umpqua also created unique water processing hardware using a multi-filtration technology, also known as Unibed. The firm is integrating the technology into the water recovery system being built by Hamilton Sunstrand for the International Space Station. Five pounds of our system will produce 100 pounds of recycled water. And so it's a pretty significant savings. Umqua has also partnered with NASA through its Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR, program. Under an SBIR contract with Johnson, the firm developed a Regenerable Biocide Delivery Unit, or Regenerable MCV. Testing on the unit showed that the MCV could be used to disinfect a variety of water streams on the space station. That led to the development of MCV products now baselined for the station. Through an SBIR award from Marshall Space Flight Center, the firm developed a catalytic system capable of destroying a variety of contaminants found in water. The technology was further matured with funding from the Calgon Carbon Corporation, who used it to treat groundwater problems. Today, it's not just NASA using Umpqua's water purification technologies. The MCV is now being used here on Earth. Water Security Corporation has acquired the rights to commercialize the MCV technology in non-aerospace applications. They're now building water purification systems with the technology and installing them in third world countries all around the globe. And how does Jerry Colombo feel about that? I've spent the last 30 some years watching disasters happen around the world and the need for an effective, convenient way to disinfect water. I guess about time is about the best way I can describe it.